<laughs> Let's start that over. Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning. I'm at the grocery store. Uh, I usually go to the grocery store twice a week, typically Wednesday or Thursday, and then again over the weekend. So follow me through my journey through the grocery store, hoping this helps some of you kind of navigate your way through the aisles and then uh, figure out maybe a little bit about what I put on my plate uh, throughout the week. So a little secret about asparagus, it's faster to buy the skin, to cook, faster to cook if you buy the skinnier stems and not like the super thick ones. Um, I like mine a little bit crunchier, so that's secret number one. And three stalks are usually plenty for Dustin and I. So if you have a bigger family, you might wanna get a little more. So really what I'm looking for are just nice, healthy, green heads of cabbage. Um, I also don't want very many like layers to peel off, so I'm looking for some that don't have a lot of extra waste. I can just literally take one leaf off, wash this, and this one's good to go. Whereas I'd probably have to take off like a couple leaves from that head right there. So another secret. So earlier this week I made some sausages and I always grill enough um, so that we have leftovers and I don't have to start the grill again. I literally just have to warm up some sausage, slice it up, and add some peppers and onions. So we're headed to uh, grab some of those and they're on sale this week, so bonus. So here's a secret. I usually only get what's on sale, so it looks like the red and the green are what we're gonna have for dinner. Um, these are a dollar each, the orange and the yellow, which is kind of a bummer because I do love those colors, but uh, that's okay. We can find other uh, colors to eat instead of uh, you know, purchasing one for an extra 50 cents. Growing up on the farm, we had green bell peppers in our garden, so I kind of know what to look for. Um, you want them harder. Uh, you don't want them soft, and just try and look for you know, things that show signs of aging, wilts, don't be afraid to pick around. I mean, this is your, your chance to get whatever you want when it comes in bulk like this. And this is probably why they're on sale. As you can see, I'm really picking around at all of them. But that's okay, we're gonna make them right away so they won't go to waste. Same thing with the red, you want them harder. Obviously, if you can score bigger ones, you're getting more bang for your buck, but should be hard to the touch. I like my bananas just a little on the green side. Just so they give them a little time to ripen up. We always have bananas in the house. Uh, with the sausage, the leftover sausage, I am gonna put those peppers with some potatoes. Just slice them up, put them in some olive oil. Be super simple. These are never on sale, the Yukon Gold. Um, 69 cents a pound is pretty good. I usually like to get about five for Dustin and I, and then Gavin also eats them too. So if you have a family of six, you wanna get, I don't know, maybe eight to 10 um, larger palm-sized potatoes. And then these are great too, the, the russet baking, but I'm gonna get some more color get a few red ones myself. These are a little bit more flavorful too. And again, take your time picking them out. You want them uh, to have a nice bright red color tint to them and hard. You don't want them soft. They're on their way out the door if they're too soft. Can I ever have enough onions in the house? 49 cents a pound, great deal. Get rid of all the mess while you can. Why make a mess of the house? I only buy scallions when they're on sale. Um, 50 cents a stem, otherwise normal onions will work, but this'll just give my sausage, potato, um, and onion, and pepper um, medley just a little bit more flavor. You don't need very many. A little bit goes a long way with those guys. And then um, broccoli crowns. So usually um, you can get away with getting more broccoli when they chop the stem off. Sometimes you end up paying a little bit more, but um, they're on sale for 99 cents a pound, which is a really good deal. So look for um, you know, a shorter stem, so that way you get more broccoli, um, get more bang for your buck. So yeah, this is gonna be so good, roasted with some olive oil. Um, and because we had pork, um, we also had hamburger. 
Uh, I'm gonna pick up some chicken just to kind of mix up the variety of um, protein. When it comes to chicken, I very rarely buy chicken breasts. I think it has zero flavor and it's not that much fun to cook and grill unless I'm putting it with like a soup or something like that. So um, I personally like the darker meat. Um, I'm a fan of the thighs. This isn't a very good price. If you go to like Costco or Sam's, um, you can get thighs for 99 cents a pound. So I'm not gonna pick up very many. I'm just not gonna plan for a lot of leftovers, um, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay because I'll be back to the grocery store on Sunday. So I'll live with $1.99. And then at least once a week, I put something in the crock pot. Um, I do have one roast at the house. I was hoping to find something on sale, but this isn't a very good deal. So I'll postpone that as well. Oh, I do need to get some burger. We are having Taco Tuesday. I mean, come on, you have to have Taco Tuesday. Nice value pack. Nothing too crazy. I like my meat a little bit fattier, gives it a little bit more flavor. Um, sometimes I'll do super lean, depending if I had another red meat earlier in the week, but uh, I always get over three pounds. That's gonna be plenty enough for Dustin, Gavin, and myself, and leftovers for the next day. And taco meat is like great to put on salads, great just to have left over. You can add whatever to it, um, never loses its flavor. So got a good amount there. Mangoes don't look very good, so we'll wait on those. Blackberries are on sale for 99 cents a pack. Gavin loves these things. And if you have kids, I mean, it's easy for like one kid to have a whole thing of these uh, as a snack. So they're on sale. I'm gonna take advantage of it. I'm gonna get myself four of them. Things you wanna look for are uh, the ones that have uh, just a little bit lighter purple tint to them. Those tend to be a little bit more flavorful. If they're all dark, they, they tend to be a little bit mushy. So I, I, I look for ones that have um, some brighter purple tint to them. Four of those will be good. And I'm gonna get a package of strawberries. This is also a great price. Just always turn them over, make sure there's nothing moldy. Look nice and plump, bright, beautiful. Love it. And that's about all. Um, we have enough eggs at the house, but eggs are always on my list. Um, so let's go check out. Hi, Marty. <laughs> so I literally spent $36.37 on a bunch of stuff that's gonna last me for five days. If I go to the grocery store twice a week, now this is only for a family of three, but if I go to the grocery store twice a week, I'm looking at spending less than a hundred bucks. Now, some of these items I also have in my freezer at the house. Um, so I would have probably ended up spending a little bit more on some protein, but this will last us uh, a couple meals for sure. And then enough for leftovers. So we don't have to go out to lunch and we can eat healthy, nutritious and delicious food um, throughout the week. Hey guys, thanks so much for following along today. Hope you learned something about um, my healthy lifestyle choices in the kitchen. Um, stay tuned for a seminar I'll be doing here in Omaha to kind of show you how to build a plate, how to navigate the grocery store, shop for ads, um, and answer any other nutritional questions you may have. So catch me next time. Stay healthy.